It's not okay that we've normalized a gun culture, and I believe that we should recognize and appreciate that we have an opportunity to do more today than thoughts and prayers. Well, it's not looking good for Washington. It looks like that state's so-called assault weapons ban is going to go through. Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Copper Jacket TV. Today we're going to be talking about what just happened in Washington last week that could change the Second Amendment in that state forever. Okay, so let's go and talk about what's going on here. So not too long ago, I made a video talking about HB 1240 in the state of Washington. That is the Washington ban. Now, at the time, that bill had just passed through the House, and it was on its way to the Senate. Now, the Senate has to go through its procedural steps, but if that bill is passed in the Senate, it would be on its way to Governor Jay Inslee's desk, where he's already said that he is going to sign it. As a matter of fact, he even said that he's been waiting for a bill like this for nearly 10 years. So again, if it goes up to his desk, it's pretty much over. He's going to sign it. So unfortunately, we have some bad news from last week. And the bad news is that last week, that bill passed through Senate committee. So after it passes through Senate committee, it's going to go to the floor for a vote. And unfortunately, the Democrats have a majority in the Senate in the state of Washington. And they've indicated that they plan on passing this bill. So it's going to be very soon now that we see this bill get passed through the Senate. And I think that it'll be almost immediately that you're going to see Governor Jay Inslee sign this. So I think that we're just a matter of maybe weeks away from seeing this ban actually take place in the state of Washington. Now, just like every other state that's passed a ban like this, Washington's basically saying that they don't like the features. They don't like the features because they say when they're combined together, it makes it more dangerous and you shouldn't have it. So they're trying to tell you what is best for you. Now, here's the thing. They say there's a grandfather clause, which means that if you already have something, you can keep it. But the grandfather clause is more of a grandfather scheme. It can always be overturned at a later date. So once Washington realizes that what they passed didn't do any good whatsoever, they can simply come back and say, well, that's because we let people keep things and we're going to go ahead and change our mind and we're going to go ahead and ban what's left as well. So don't be fooled by the so-called grandfather clause. Now, this is clearly unconstitutional. It's unconstitutional just based on the plain text of the Second Amendment. If you just read the plain text of the Second Amendment, that's the end of the argument right there. It's all over. But it doesn't pass constitutional muster in other ways as well. These ways were presented in Bruin when Justice Thomas said that you have to not only look at the text of the Second Amendment, but you have to look at historical traditions of firearms regulations going back to the uh, ratification of the Second Amendment up to the Reconstruction era, the mid to late 1800s, and you have to find some type of has historical analog to prove that your regulation that you're trying to pass today was in existence in that time period. And there's no way to do that. There is no historical analog for what they're trying to do in Washington, for what they did in California, for what they did in Illinois, uh, New York, and so many other states. There's no way to point to anything, any type of historical relevant law back in that time period that would hold up their ban today. So it is constitutional, unconstitutional, in just about every way, but they're gonna do it anyway. That's one thing that they love to do. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll pass it. We know it's unconstitutional, but we're gonna hold it up in court for maybe a decade. Now, thankfully, there's a light at the end of the tunnel that could shorten the overall process for people in Washington because once they pass this in Washington, they'll, they'll enforce it, absolutely, without a doubt, even though it will be challenged pretty much immediately. So while they're enforcing it and they're trying to challenge this, and you know, again, these court cases can take five, 10 years to finish, we already have a case that's very similar under the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals uh, that is currently sitting in front of Judge Benitez. Now, this has to do with California's same ban and same mag ban. So again, uh, this could have a, a broad effect on any state that's covered by the Ninth Circuit, which Washington is. So if Benitez finds that these are unconstitutional, maybe places an injunction on it, and then that gets appealed to the Ninth Circuit, and the Ninth Circuit's going to have to look at it post-Bruin, and let's say we get a favorable decision at the Ninth Circuit level, and that doesn't get appealed to the Supreme Court, that's going to have a direct effect on Washington as well. So while these you know, are two different states, and there's going to be two different cases kind of going after the exact same thing, having uh, such a long progression on one of them, because this one in front of Benitez has been going on for ever now, uh, that could eventually end up helping people in Washington. But states like this are going to continue to pass unconstitutional laws until finally we get these you know, major decisions in court 
that stop them. So I just wanted people in Washington and other people who are planning on moving or visiting Washington, I wanted you to be aware that it's passed that Senate committee and now it's onto the Senate floor for a full vote, which has full control, or excuse me, which has basically full control by the, the Democrats in that Senate. So it's almost guaranteed that it's going to pass at this point and again, guaranteed that the governor is going to sign it. So I wanted to make you aware of that. Thank you all very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and you guys have a great day.